Hi, welcome to Becky Cortino Live. I'm an author and international speaker, currently writing a book on forgiveness, and I'm passionate about sharing what I've learned with you. An undeniable truth about forgiveness that probably makes it so hard for everybody is it's difficult to do. It's hard to do because it's difficult to admit that a wrong has been done. Sometimes it's difficult for us to admit someone else did wrong. It's somebody that we had always respected and admired or someone that was very special in our lives and we have to actually admit that they made a mistake or it's hard for us to admit we've made a mistake as well. Also, it's difficult to admit that we have made some kind of a, a blunder, an error, or have shortcomings and that's what's caused the problem. And also, mistreating someone else. That's a difficult thing as well to admit. Thank you and welcome. Thank you so much. On the other hand, it's also needed because we've come to an impasse. We've come to an impasse and we're not going anywhere until something finally occurs to take care of this situation. Um, because the relationship has officially ground to a halt or we're not speaking anymore or someone's just not even claiming you as a relative or who knows, whatever the, the circumstance may be. Also, hurt and pain has been inflicted. It could even be that the person who did the harm, or if it was us, you know, we're feeling really badly about it too and we are the one who made the mistake or the error or of course, obviously, quite often the person harmed will feel the, the pain as well. So also we know it's needed because if we were to ask for forgiveness or extend grace, then we know that it's going to release us from this situation. And acknowledging wrongs does that. That's what forgiveness is. And that's why it's so hard because we have to acknowledge it. So while we know it's hard to do, we also know that it's needed. It's needed to get beyond this place or we're just gonna stay stuck forever. And this we know. We are all humans. We all make mistakes. People do stupid things. Stupid things are mistakes, right? Sometimes, you know, mistakes turn out differently than we thought uh, in the learning process, but we do learn from our mistakes if we allow ourselves to. But yeah, people do stupid things. And also we have a choice whether to accept an apology or to extend grace or forgiveness to someone, to offer grace, to just ask for forgiveness. We have that choice, just like we had a choice as to doing the silly thing that caused a problem or for you know, accepting the apology or even maybe setting up a situation where we might be able to at least have a conversation and an agreement on this to restore this relationship. That's possible too. So an undeniable truth about forgiveness is this, it's difficult to do. It's difficult, but needed. It's needed because if we don't move on and realizing that it's difficult and move on from that, then that's going to be the thing that's gonna hold us up altogether. And because it's the right thing to do, it's also a hard thing to do. Did you ever notice that in life? The right things are usually the hardest things to do. And that really separates people off from those who are, are actually being very uh, high level uh, functioning individuals, right? Because they're just gonna move right on and they're going to get this taken care of. But the hard things to do are the right things to do. And so that, that's just the way that it plays out. So I guess another undeniable truth about forgiveness as related to that is, is that that's your choice too. That's my choice. Whether we're going to do the hard things, which are the right things, and get this matter taken care of, make the steps necessary to move toward restoration because we're not thinking it's doing anybody any good this way, let's fix it, or let's come to a point of agreement somehow to help to restore things. So that's a choice. So that's another, another undeniable truth. If you'd like to read more about what I've written on forgiveness, please visit BeckyCortino.com. I have a forgiveness blog there. And also you can sign up to receive updates on my forgiveness book and be among the first to know when the book is available. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you. I see I have some peeps here and appreciate your catching this uh, Becky Cortino Live. I hope that you will catch another one and I hope that you're enjoying what I'm sharing of the things that I've learned as I've written this book. And thanks so much. Have a great day.